ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork! Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the Professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <gasps> Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that, pussycat? Ah! Well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! I... Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Go, you imbecile! You hate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! <sighs> How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal?
friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. are a bit too short to climb these ladders. It looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. The Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. button. Try using action to look around this cave. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please, take this talisman of Glimmer as a sign of our gratitude! This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the homeworlds of Avalar! No! Oh, hello! We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi! I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah! They gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? 
Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. This is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Spyro, I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. <laughs> Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Nice job! Now, try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Very good! Now, for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection.
Yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Shed like this. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up isn't active, you need to defeat more enemies. Remember Hunter's advice. You will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top of your jump. vegetarian I think you should torch that Yeti he's pretty tough though in fact I'm not sure you're up to it I thought the Yeti was tougher than that I guess he was all bark ruff, ruff. <laughs> anyway I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it.
Ah, Spyro, welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. this. Would you like to try a game of one-on-one? -on -one? The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go. Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything.
Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Spyro, you've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. Spyro, would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Great! Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge.
these little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Nice shooting! Follow me to the next lizard. Pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. your mouth by just walking up to it. To spit it out, press the attack button. my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday.
Torchlight power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. and have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. locked in here with all our tools and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us the first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow if you have trouble come back and talk to me Meet me at the pond for the next challenge. says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed 10 fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him.
Okay, Sparrow, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Okay, Spyro. shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Spyro, you're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. Pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman.
fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. <laughs> <laughs> 